Good morning and welcome to Around the World in 274 Days. And this morning we are in downtown Stockholm, Sweden. But we should have a fun day. We're doing hop on, hop off boats and buses. We're going to the Vasser Museum. And uh, this ship was found, raised in 1961. But it spent over 300 years on the bottom of the ocean. The Vasa was a Swedish ship built in 1628. It sank uh, after sailing about 1400 yards into her maiden voyage on 10 August 1628. Uh, she fell into obscurity after most of her valuable bronze cannons were salvaged in the 17th century. And she was located again in the 1950s in a busy shipping area in the Stockholm Harbor. The ship was salvaged with a large intact hull in 1961. She was housed in a temporary museum until 1988 and then moved permanently to the Vasa Museum in the whole Royal National City Park in Stockholm. The ship is one of Sweden's most popular tourist attractions and has seen over 35 million visitors since 1961. This is a model of what the Vasser looked like uh, when she was launched. She had a uh, gold uh, covered uh, figurehead on the front and a very ornate uh, uh, structure with uh, many wood carvings uh, along the sides and on the back, the stern. The ship was built by orders of the King of Sweden, uh, Gustav Adolfs, as part of a military expansion, uh, which he had initiated a war with Poland. She was constructed at the Navy Yard in Stockholm under a contract with private entrepreneurs. Um, richly decorated as a symbol of the King's ambition for Sweden and himself, upon completion she was the most powerful armed vessel in the world. However, the, the Vasa dangerously unstable with too much weight on the upper structure of the hull. Despite the lack of stability, she was ordered to sea and sank only a few minutes after encountering a wind and a strong breeze. The king, who was in Poland fighting, was anxious for the ship to sail and ordered her to set sail immediately. They had conducted stability tests by running 30 men from one side of the ship to the other and they had to stop it after three trips back and forth because they were afraid the ship would turn, uh, capsize. But his subordinates were too afraid to write him and tell him that the ship was unsafe and shouldn't sail. He ordered it sail to sail. It sailed for about 30 minutes, went about uh, 1,400 yards, and a, a gust of wind blew it over, tipped on its side, and sank. It's a sad story, but the preservation of the ship was uh, fantastic. So here we are in Skansen, which is an outdoor folk museum. And it's kind of showing us the way they lived in uh, Stockholm a couple hundred years ago. We toured some of the buildings from the uh, 1800s and 1700s. Uh, fascinating to see uh, what they lived in. Um, this here is an old, old style telephone booth. Obviously certain areas of this uh, town are, represent something newer than, uh, than the rest of it because there was a gasoline pump. Um, also had some beautiful gardens uh, that we walked through.
This is a reindeer burner. It is really, really good. Looks like it's got some cabbage or something on it. Mm. It's, it's good. idea what this is but it's kind of cool looking. That is a cool belfry. By the way, if you can't tell it's raining. Rain, rain, go away. So we're sitting here waiting for our uh, boat taxi. Actually it's just a ferry to come up. There's a lot of boat traffic in the harbor here. We're kind of cutting our tour a little short because it's supposed to rain the rest of the day. And uh, it'll be better tomorrow. We're here overnight, so we'll have it tomorrow to do some exploring as well. Well, that concluded our first day in um, Stockholm, Sweden. It was uh, a little bit wet, <coughs> but Stock Stockholm is a beautiful city and uh, we thoroughly enjoyed uh, our time there today and, and walking around. If you liked our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel around the world in 274 days Bob Allen Travels. And be sure to hit the uh, notification bell so you're notified every time we post uh, a new video. Thanks for watching.